we've got bad things. Hey, you can't park there. No. Just and then, and then go do the thing. You just start before you hit the rock. <laughs> oh. I got the dog. <laughs> I have a dog now. <laughs> so you're not going to see oysters on a Jeep Jamboree, all right? We're doing it out here correctly on the rover run. Right. We know what the demographic is out here. I <laughs> sure about the champagne. From it. Um... We'll see how it goes. Is it overheating uh, or what's it doing? Just making bad noises? It's uh, something in the driveline. I think it might be his transmission. He basically... <laughs> hey guys, welcome to Rovers of Wintergreen 2023. Starting off with a bang. Thank you, Cindy. Uh, and we're, on, Rover we're not even there, we already blew a tire out, so this is going to be fun. Welcome back to the Addicted Motors YouTube channel. This video is going to be the uh, the culmination of the past five or six videos where our little group from Richmond, Virginia, based out of sports car workshops, uh, is headed to Rovers at Wintergreen uh, for the two-day uh, Land Rover off-road event with probably about 125 other members in trucks. Um, it's going to be a good time. Stick around. You're going to see it. It's, uh, again, it's, it's a great organization, great people, and a big shout out to everyone that helped organize it. Uh, we're definitely going to be there next year, but uh, stick along and see uh, see what happens. Have fun towing Dave back. What are we doing, Bob? You got three choices. Yep. All are death defying. Perfect. Uh, number one, they're all scenic. Come on. Right, One go. is very short, scenic, mm -hmm. in case you have to get back. Okay. Uh, you'll just go to like the midpoint and come back. Okay. Second goes down to Devil's Backbone. You go clear to the bottom. Yep. And you can, that way you can come out at the bottom. I'm going to do number two then. Okay, because you could do number three, which is mine. <sighs> go to the bottom and do a lot of rocks. I unfortunately have my uh, oh, our spawn You'll with You'll be us. in the middle group. Thank you. Okay, so <laughs> see the three lines? Yep. Go for the middle one, and your buddy up there say who's going to wait for you. Just tell him you're going to the middle one. Perfect. All right, day one, Rovers of Wintergreen. We're here in a line. We were instructed to go to a certain line. That's gonna take longer. This is the twilight run. And uh, we're here with a huge group of trucks. I've never been here on a Friday, uh, but we are here on a Friday. Ian, you see him in our videos, is here. Mike's here in the new D2. We've got Mr. Ridge Rovers in his uh, green 90 somewhere. Uh, and we're gonna see what this takes us. We have the baby with us. We have the youngest. Here. We've got Mr. Max and Cindy, and I've got my off-road hat on. And Max isn't crying, so we're going to see where this is going to bring us because we got put in the hard trail, and I'm not really, uh, not really elevated to that level. I might be all these built discos and whatnot. So let's uh, let's kick this video off with some stuff. Yeah. 
All right, so we're in a long group of slow, broken Land Rovers. We are making our way for the first of three rides in this event. We are in the advanced Twilight group. It's the one for men, or I don't know. We were just told to go, so we have to go. So a lot of trucks. This will be a quick, bumpy ride down to Devil's Backbone. And uh, here we go, guys. All right, so we are once again on a beautiful ski slope, not skiing uh, in Land Rovers, which is probably the best way to do ski slopes this time of year. And I am going to be have my eyes peeled for my rear corner bumper guard, which I lost. You see that in my last video, um, escaping this route uh, from the trail cleaning. So I'm going to keep my eyes peeled. I think I smacked a tree or just caught it lightly and it went bye bye. So I'd like to find it again. And into the woods with a pretty solid group. Again, this is just a, a twilight run with the screaming baby. There's a huge line of trucks behind us. I didn't think there'd be that many people signing up for this one, but luckily uh, we seem to be towards the front, but good times. Some action shots of Ian. All the kids. Tree was. Yeah, so, so this weekend, um, right now it's 70 and when really nice weather, uh, cool temps even in the evening, but tomorrow, unfortunately, the forecast is rain in the afternoon, which is, you know, obviously right about <laughs> when we're going to run, run the trails. So this person is like, why are these trespassers here? I would have thought I should get a rubber shirt on. That was where I thought I lost my thing. It's not. You won't see it. So this is like the calm before the storm. We have one good, one good run with these guys uh, in the dry conditions, and then uh, it'll be pretty, pretty interesting, mucky mess uh, later in the afternoon tomorrow, which will be pretty fun, I think. Time to go through a couple puddles. Yeah, the uh, truck in front of us, it's Ian's 92 Classic, had an incident on the ride up where uh, his hood blew up, which if you're a Classic owner, very common thing to happen. His is latched down already because his hood latch doesn't work. He's got two side straps like a Jeep. Um, but they failed and uh, he luckily didn't sustain any windshield damage. Had a slight bend in the, the bonnet top, but he got lucky, relatively unscathed. Um, this is a nice little watery descent. I'm sure tomorrow it'll be uh, a little bit more of a river in Dutch rain. All right, doing a little rocky water crossing. Let's play Don't Smack Your Dip on Stuff. See if Ian's gonna play don't smack your dip on stuff. up that hurts you, it's the coming down. Definite wee factor. Classified as more challenging. So, dude, you want a baby? I got one. It's a little loud. Up to you. Baby? You want a baby? Yeah, you want a baby. All right, cool. So, stop for some reason. Get our first little inspection. Ian's slowly losing brakes, but not worried about it. You can see his uh, wonderful 
repair job. That's why I always also carry wire for that reason. You never know when you have to fix your brakes and your hood. But I don't see anything pouring out, so. I wonder if we forgot a key. Yeah, make this little money. Yeah, like I said, everyone gets like, oh, I don't want it to be hard. And then like, I think I want more of a challenge. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's the first time I've seen the dust. Yes, yeah, there'll be more trails tomorrow. This is the fire road trail. Wow. Pedals are good for maybe cooling your brakes down. I don't know. You make it? I bang, I bang my new exhaust a little bit. Yeah, you make it? Yeah, well, I lost the guy behind me. I don't know what happened here. <laughs> oh, he, well, he's low too. It's it, that's that's easier going the other way. I feel like it's harder on that side. Whew. All right, so we are having. I'm having some problems. I'm having the same stalling issue again, which is magically reared its head and I don't know what it is so I'm going to cut the truck off and cut it back on um, prior to going down this uh, obstacle it's not it's not acting very happy so we've got a we've got some we got a plan we're going to stick to it but all in all nice night just some just some rover issues here nothing nothing to be concerned about besides to be concerned about Great day out here in Virginia. Whew. Having some fun now. Let's see what's going on. You need to come back. So I think the goal here is he's having issues going to low and try to relocate himself better on the path. So he's gonna go up that last bit as well. I don't know if he's gonna be able to be on his own, but we'll hopefully get the rest of the group moving. All right, so we're still here. It's like seven o'clock. I just cleaned my mass airflow sensor. Put spare tires up there with one hand. Good time for some team bonding on the mountain on the scenic ride. It's gonna be a great weekend. Uh. Just, oh man, I can smell it. Yeah. 
I think he might have banged it going over a rock. Pop the clutch. I wish I was out there helping this, but I guess I'm not sure. Well, worst yeah. case, you go back up. <laughs> Does it have power? He's, got He's gonna bump start it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, angle it straight first and then and then go do the thing. You should start well, before you hit the rock. <laughs> oh. I got the dog. <laughs> I have a dog now. <laughs> So when truckers take the uh, the emergency exit. <laughs> You're on dog duty. No, no. All right, so here we go. Uh, hopefully that I have power. I'm gonna let him make it down. The camera's not at the best angle for it. Speed and power. This took a, not a great line, very bad line, but speed and power prevails and he wins. All right. Hopefully I have speed and power as well, and I don't run into the issue. Speed and power. Speed and power, guys. Speed and power, baby. Speed and power. I must have bumped it out of drive somehow, but we made it. Speed and power. off-roading <laughs> how do you think max has uh we're we're okay we made it um truck still doing the cutout thing i'm wondering if maybe i have blow on gas and the gauge just isn't reading right that could be a thing i'm not 100 percent. my sender's not amazing i installed it it could still be getting caught up on things so the first thing we're gonna do is toss a couple gallons into this on the way back up um and then you know do your general cleanings and whatnot so that's that'll be number one and then we'll go from there but that's gonna be it for tonight day one in the books max your trooper
day two. All right, it is uh, day two up at Wintergreen Mountain. It is cloudy, it is chilly, probably about 50 degrees. Um, maybe we don't bring two Range Rovers to a Range Rover event. Um, I still think that my cats are messed up on the Classic. Uh, I still have the spare on this. The other group of guys that's coming is already broke down. They're on 151. And they might have to leave the truck there. There's about seven of them. So I'm going to have Zach try to grab us some B-roll of what's going on there. But uh, we might already have a truck down. That's to be expected. It's a sacrifice to the Rover Gods. And uh, yeah, we'll be kicking off here in a little bit. Um, we'll see how it goes. Is it overheating um, or what's it doing? Just making bad noises? It's uh, something in the drive line. I think it might be his transmission. It's driving down 250. Tell me that oil. Huh? Tell me that oil. He said it again. Probably out of oil. Yes, probably. <laughs> hey, um, this is already bad. Might as well get here. He's coming. <laughs> yeah. So we're going up the hill. Um, I'll let you guys know when we get there or something else happens. Love you. Yeah, you've got bad things. All right, it's the, it's the next morning and we already have a, a casualty. Apparently Pratt's truck, the transfer case, blew up right down there coming up Wintergreen Mountain. His truck was towed somewhere over here. We have to find it. Um, we're gonna line up for the first trail ride. It's getting kind of crappy as far as the, the weather. Um, but yeah, already one rover completely exploded. I'll drop a picture, I don't have any footage of it, but uh, not good, not good. It's all uh, some skid marks and uh, some oil slick from where it all dumped out, so we'll see. Uh, Mason's over here in his classic. He needs to take a part of the center console to lock it into low range. Um, so we're doing great on this. A white 110 parked down in lot F. Okay. Uh, you're out. You're out. <laughs> <laughs> Team Extreme Medium. <laughs> All right. Well, this is the morning cluster. Everyone's going to try to line up. It smells like gasoline and oil. And uh, we're gonna go again, Team Extreme, Medium. There's seven categories. Um, and they all kind of sound the same, but I think it's gonna rain, so it's gonna be the equalizer. <laughs> some trucks we've seen before, some trucks we haven't seen before. We saw Lucky 8 guys here. We've got our favorite um, L322 supercharged right here with the dent. Still wish I had the, uh, the tire pump. Looking pretty good. A whole bunch of, you know, great mix of everything. That's what makes this stuff fun, is uh, the variety that you see. A little bit of everything. And Ian always doing some last minute repairs. No. Yeah, they're right there. All right, so we have the group. It took some jockeying. We are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven rovers strong. Uh, at least in our group. Say yeah, Bob. Um, and this is extreme medium. Our leader is he's got a 109, which is pretty capable. But you know, I don't think we're gonna do anything uh, anything wild. It was supposed to be a group of ten trucks. Now it's more. You can't go the same group as Pratt. <laughs> go in the same group as Pratt. <laughs> Suckers.
Train crossing at the bottom, but I don't know if there's if we're gonna go off somewhere else. We'll see. You're showing off with all that ground clearance, man. All right, so we're on the channel. Oh man, everyone's on the channel. Uh, our whole group is. So we're on uh, the entrance trail again. Seems like all the groups are behind us. This is probably 40 or so trucks lined up. And we're basically just going down the same trail we did yesterday, and uh, we'll see if it cuts off anymore. <laughs> so I've been looking for this, and I found it, and I went to stream. Yeah! No! Come back. Come here. Shoo! Is it? Ah, oh, it looks like it's from a D2. Oh, that's Kevin. Oh, there you go. We found <laughs> I thought it was mine. <laughs> He's got the height in the center to do that. Yeah. Clean. He's long too. I mean, that's the one of them. Now, we're going to do two point turns to get up. <laughs> so, that, that's a good little line. It's like a different angle on this obstacle. Again, it's just a little technical with every truck being not super lifted um, because there's three other rocks here. So you've driven this, you know what I'm talking about. Nice.
getting a little wet. All right, so we lost our camera guy, unfortunately. Yeah, where did Dave go? We lost Dave. Oh, it's deep. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Bit of speed and power. Good job, baby. And a baby. Yeah, reverse. Saying we gotta move up a little bit. Okay. Hey, look, you might go move the line up. Yeah, thanks. She says right. It is pouring, pouring rain. I think most of us made it through. Um, yeah, <laughs> we're testing out all the, testing out all the things right here. We got Max, we got Max and Cindy and the torrential downpour. We might have to camp out here for a little bit. Just in time, torrential rain. Uh, everyone else is back there, finally having a good time. Uh, but we're kind of stalled on the trail here, waiting for uh, them to move the lead trucks up. So I don't think I, I didn't get real good shots of anybody, but uh, you know that's how it happens. Mason's hot box. You got your AC on in here? <laughs> See kids hot boxing in there? Oh yeah. Smooching? Oh yeah. Make it. Yeah, I was a little worried after seeing Mason, but uh, he was fine. Was... I think his truck was cutting out a little bit, power-wise. Yeah. Now well, we're moving. All right, we're moving. All right. A little hill climb. or something to help crank it or what's the symptoms? stalled out so uh, get get up and going you got your wish not to stop on any more inclines i don't like stopping on inclines he's behind me hasn't gotten stuck full news speed and power so we're using speed and power to our advantage hopefully 
about the fun parts. <laughs> Alright, more fun. Alright, so we are recording again. Back in action, Mason's behind us. He's just can't cut his truck off, which is, you know, don't cut your truck off. Um, but we're gonna go down that steep incline that went down last night, but in the rain. This is, this is speed and power. Jesse's dropping in, Mike already made it. Max is not having a good time. We're uh, risking it for the biscuit. Hold on to that baby. This hill's called Pratt's Fall. It might keep going. Don't stop. Uh, Mason. Ah, shit. Mason didn't make it. Hold up. Mason, did you need to cut off or are you good? We're, out, we're taking the glitch. This should be good from there if you can hit dip lock. More power, more power. Keep going, more power. Keep going. Keep going. Stop. Yeah, stop. A little, I'll go up a little more to the turn. Yep. Mason, don't go all the way up yet because I'm blocking your exit at the top. Let me walk up in front of you. All right, Zach, you're good. Come on. Mason, stop there. All right, so we are uh, doing a DIY trail because our trail uh, guide or, or trail ride was cut short for some reason. So we're going to loop back around and find the easier group and, uh, and continue. So I'm going to grab some footage of us making it through this fun little bit. Um, this is where I was last year when I was with RVA Rover and his series truck broke down and I jumped in with a, a nice gentleman and uh, we went to this little rock garden so this shouldn't be too bad. Yeah. Some action shots of Jesse having some turnums.
Yeah, Mike, Jesse's flexing on you. This is a fun little... Check those diffs. And we made it. Oh, just didn't protect the mirror. I wanna I wanna film Maisie go through it. Just crawling. Zach's not even slowing down. He's just banging off stuff. Hey, can you have Zach turn his parking lights on? Yeah. So I can see him in the rear view. More speed, Zach. Got to bump it off that back rock. Little trash control action. Turn your uh, parking lights on so Mason can see you. You don't need that shit anyway. Mason, we're going across the stream. Looks like it took us right back to where we just were, which is fine, because uh, now it's about lunchtime. Exxon Valdez. I stopped filming, but we all had a little poop almost sliding off the trail with the mud. Andy. We got some toilet paper. Hey, Andy, I got you something. You need it. <laughs> you know, this is one time I'm glad my truck weighs like two pounds. Mason, get out, you weigh too much. <laughs>
So the only thing that's changed is a little mud. We're back on. I was going to be done filling for the day, but this mud is a little, uh, a little slippy. So maybe this next bit um, could be a little fun. But I wonder who blew a tire. All right, and now we're off to the slippery stuff. And we're probably going to end up stopping again very soon. Okay. So you're not going to see oysters on a Jeep Jamboree, all right? We're doing it out here correctly on the rover run. Right. We know what the demographic is out here. I should have brought the champagne. Oh, man. I should have brought it. We're popping champagne right now. Uh, You're you about to snooze, you lose. Uh, <laughs> Look how we got here. It's either blue point or a little bit of rollback action on a big old rock. Can we push him? <laughs> he doesn't weigh much. This is going to be a fun recovery. The only time his truck is having a hard time is because the wheel, it's, well, the width is very narrow and this is a huge wide obstacle. So we're going to, we're going to yank it. Oh. Oh. Woo, buddy! Crash control, baby. Great. Go. Speed and power, speed and power. That's what everyone else did. Speed and power. I guess. Go, just keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Yep. Just gotta bump, there's a rock on your uh, right rear, just bump it and you'll be okay. I need more of a bump. There you go. So we got a little soup sandwich situation, yep. which will hopefully be remedied by a winch, but I'm sure Ralph might struggle trying to get, not pull himself down the hill. Let's see how she does. Hey, you can't park there. Luckily, we got this.
Don't use brakes. Just keep. Yeah, don't use brakes. All right, slow, slow down, but just don't use brakes. Slow down. There you go. As long as you're not using the brakes too hard, you're okay. All right, so here's the stricken D1. So his his transfer box went went boom. Oh my god. <laughs> his transfer box went boom. Oh, did they disconnect the drive shaft? No, I think the drive shaft disconnected itself. <laughs> He's got that drive shaft disconnect two wheel drive mod. Um so yeah, that's what that's what happens when your truck breaks before you get to the event. <laughs> um cool truck. If you watch my other videos, you kind of saw the lead up. He added the these wheels from his, his uh, 109. <laughs> I don't know, man. What are all these parts? There's so many parts. <laughs> There's such an oil slick. <laughs> but we had to admire the wreckage. I'm so surprised it doesn't have a Tommy sticker on it. I'd be doing a favor if someone towed it. <laughs> uh -oh. Well, that's gonna be the end of the video. <laughs> Max had a great time at the, uh, the winter hearing event, as you can see. Uh, the boys mostly survived, minus Pratt's D1. He made the sacrifice, which allowed the rest of our rovers to live on and function for the remainder of the trip. And uh, we're gonna wrap it up with some raffles and uh, have a good time. It was great seeing a lot of people that recognize the channel. Uh, awesome shout outs to uh, pretty much everyone that we bumped into. Um, so yeah, if you like the channel, like the footage, please subscribe to all that fun YouTube stuff, and we'll see you in the next one.
to get the 130. Oh. Well, we're here to keep moving. Let me see what I can get up here. He's fine with the rocks. Alright, so when y'all leave, when y'all leave.